Wireflow. It's all about the, um, the, the finesse, the delicateness, the, the absence, the presence and the absence of, of the whole sculpture. It's a sculpture in space, it's a light sculpture. It doesn't take anything away from what the space is, yet it gives uh, um, a great relationship between what we used to see in, in the past as a drawing. Because when I draw, it's a very fine line. And when it comes to life, it stayed a very fine line, which was a, a great technical task uh, for, for all of us. And what also it does, it's, it's a relationship between the three-dimensional and the two-dimensional. So the sketch becomes a three-dimensional object. It can be as long as we want, it could be as short as we like, it could be as wide or as narrow. So we have a collection of pieces which are pre uh, pre-designed, predetermined by me and there is also the possibility to grow and do a very big installation in atriums or, or big spaces as, uh, as we like. The inspiration for Wireflow comes from my artwork and it's the, the ambition or the, the need to create, to take something from my drawing board into life and have and the minimum amount of change. It could fit into a contemporary environment or to a modern environment or to an, an antique environment. It will always have its own um, identity. So the inspiration comes from, from simplicity and from absence. The name Wireflow um, is uh, actually, it's, it's beyond the name, it's, it's a description. It's the, the fluidity, the continuity and the endlessness of the wire.